tutorial. I am the Rum Soak Pirate. And today I'm going to be making this piece here. It's a, it's a pirate ship helm. And I'm going to be using this piece on one of my um, promotions for my clothing line called Rum Soaked Pirate Wear. Um, you can see my stuff on Etsy. Um, I'm still working on some more designs, but there's enough there for you guys that like pirates and mermaids to so go check it out and get yourself some of the Rum Soaked Pirate uh, merchandise. So let's begin with this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the, the outside of this, right? The piece in the back. So let's begin. We're going to take a piece of uh, a piece of wood. Yeah, if we take a piece of wood, we wouldn't be doing this in 3D now, would we? So we're going to take the vertexes. We're going to press R. We're going to stretch them out. Okay. We're going to take these, press W. We're going to push all the way up. Okay, I think I'm very happy with that. Let's see how thick that is. Let's make it a bit thicker by pressing R. I think that's fine. I'm happy with that. First thing we're going to do is going to press Edge. Okay, before we do anything, let's insert some edge loops. Insert edge loop, right? Let's let's work in symmetry to make this even easier. Let's reset this. Oops, let's let's make this into one. Insert one right down the middle. Right. Um one more. Let's do one more. Make sure we have support. So now that we've done that, we're gonna work on world decks. And we're gonna insert more edge loops. We're gonna reset this. We're going to pop one here, and it's going to reflect on the other side, so we know it's equal. And one more here, one on the top, one on the bottom, and one here, and one here. Okay? Once that is done, we're going to take this edge, right? click. Shift click and we're gonna bevel this edge to get that shape. We're gonna get that out of the way first. Bevel edge. We're gonna go one, two, three, and we're gonna come in here and fraction it off. You know what? Something's a little bit off. We we have to fix this. So vertex W, we're gonna take this and push it up. You see it's off. We don't need that. We need it to be right where it's supposed to be. Let's check the top, the top is fine. Now let's go to edge, this, click once. It will select the other, it should select the other side. It's not selecting the other side, I don't, why isn't it doing it? Now it's doing it. It's being a weirdo. Shift click, and then we got bevel edge. We see that all four take the shape. Now we can do this correctly. Let's come down to this one, which is a bit more clearer to look at. We're going to fraction it and we're going to add segments. One, two, three, four segments. We're going to sh shrink it up to the air. Okay. Now we're going to take face, click, 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 and click. Now here we're going to press W and we're going to shift. Let me see something. Hold on. Okay, let's try a technique. See if it works for me. We're going to press Command E. Offset it a little bit. Command E thickness. Inside. Command E thickness. Command E thickness. And Command E offset. A little bit that's fine let's see what happens okay now what we're gonna do is once that's done we know that they're all done if I'm not mistaken yes that's in that's in uh, in set we are going to
Let's do number three here, see what I'm getting. Okay, so now we're gonna take, we have insets here, but it's not, no, that's fine actually. Let's do this. Let's take this edge and this one. It should have this side selected. And we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom and we're gonna give that some some edge loops. So let's put the number three and see what we're getting. Yep. So if we press one, we're gonna have to freshen this tighter. So let's add more and let's tighten this up. The way we're gonna verify this is right here. So let's let's see segments, and we're gonna tighten that up. Right, very tight, nice and tight. So I think, let me see what happens if I insert an edge loop. Hold on guys. I just wanna make sure that everything is flowing smoothly. So let me see, three. Okay, this should work, but we're gonna to have to do some work. So let's take all this edge. Okay, we're gonna make sure all, everything's selected. All the, we don't want that selected. Why is that selected? Because I double clicked. Okay, we're gonna double click. Make sure nothing else is selected. Okay, make sure nothing else except the borders are selected, guys. That's very important in this step here. Okay, let's go all the way around, make sure nothing else is selected. And one more time here. Okay, once just those edges are selected, let's take one more look. And let's bevel that edge and see what we get. Perfect, one, two, three. We're gonna tighten this up very well. And let's see the outside of this. Yep, perfect. Now we press number three, we get this, right? Let's press the number one and let's see why I'm getting weird geometry here. That shouldn't be happening because everything has support and edge loops. Let me see something, guys. Okay, yeah, everything has support and edge loops, so let me see if I press three again. What am I looking at wrong? Okay. Um, okay, guys. So you see that we have this here. Let's try to match these up. Okay. We're going to have to do some cleanup. That's why I'm not content with what I'm seeing. So we're going to match these up. Enter. Enter. We're gonna get rid of some of the lines, don't worry, don't worry about that guys. So this should have covered that side. Yes, let's go to the bottom and work the bottom now. Again, what I'm doing now is a safe practice of keeping clean geometry. You don't want stuff having weird textures when you export it and give it that nice wooden finish. And then you're gonna see that the wood is gonna be warped and you're gonna wonder what happened. It's because we, we're skipping steps and not being clean and trying to hurry up and finish. So what we are gonna do is, object mode, we are gonna delete some edges here and keep some. So, how are we gonna do this? Edge, click, we don't need that. 
Do we need that? Let me see. Okay, we're gonna delete all these edges, guys. We're just gonna keep that flowing straight, straight through. And we're gonna keep these, actually. If we press delete, we have nice clean geometry. We have a triangle here, but there's nothing we can do about that. But our geometry is much cleaner. Let's go to vertex. We gotta get rid of all those vertices. So one, one, two, three, four, four, five, six. We're gonna delete those because again, we want clean geometry. So we have four, four, these two triangles can be helped. Um, but that's fine. I'm happy with that. It's better than a bunch of unclean geometry. So I'm happy with that. Let's do the top now. Okay. After this, we're gonna clean up and we're gonna save. So we can continue to the to the meat and potatoes of the soil of the of what we're doing. So we're gonna do edge one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna delete that. Vertex one, two, three, four, five, six. Delete that. Now if we look at this from a, ver a, a better viewpoint. We press three. Much cleaner geometry. And the back is holy crap. What did I do here? Let's press one. You see why you always got to check things out? So easy to solve. We just select this. Um, shift period. And press delete. Make sure we did not delete anything else that we need. And all we do is edge, click, and we're gonna bridge. And the back is clean. It's that simple, guys. It's always checking your work before you go elsewhere. So we're gonna add a few more edge loops, mesh tool, insert edge loop. We're gonna insert Equally one here. Uh, let's make this three. Three. We're gonna insert three here. Three here. Three here and three here. Now we're gonna have to do a little bit more work. And I know you guys are wondering what's the point of me adding that. But this is just to make sure that we have enough geometry in case we're trying to do anything else. So what we do is we take. Since we're working in symmetry, just click one side right there and meet in the middle and press enter. Same thing here, right? Zoom in, make sure we grab that, that, that. Press enter. So when we're working in symmetry, you can see that our work is pretty much cut in half. You can't always work in symmetry, but when you do, try to try to do it to cut your work in half. Okay, we're almost done. Okay. We're almost done. We got one more after this one and we should be okay. We got one more to go and we're done. Then we're straightening these out and we should be okay. So we're gonna come to our front view and we're gonna straighten these out. As you can, as you can see, they're not straight. We're gonna press take our uh, select all that and press R. In every line that that you see that is not flat, we're gonna do that. Okay. Nice clean geometry, guys. That's the name of the game. Object mode. Now we're gonna clean up and save where we are. Okay, I'm happy with that. 
edit, delete by type history, edit, delete by type non-deformer, modify freeze, modify center pivot. Command S. We're going to our desktop and we're going to put private ship helm. Save as. Okay? Let's continue. So now that that's done, we can hide this. We don't need to see that anymore. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this section here, the, wo uh, the wooden section, and then we'll play on the, the metallic section. So again, um, let's begin with this. This is going to be very easy, guys. Um, it's going to probably look confusing. Um, should we separate this? I'm wondering. Okay, let's do this center round piece and we'll figure the rest out as we go along. So this is right in the middle. W, we're going to bring it up. E, hold down J while we rotate. I'm taking a sip of my tea. A nice hot tea at night will definitely hit the spot. And we're going to add on to this. Okay. And remember, we're working on the wood part, so anything that you see on the metal, don't worry about it right now. But we are going to use it as a, step, a stepping stone. So what do I mean? I'm going to, uh, let's make this, because it's usually about that thick. Right? So we're going to take the face. What I mean by stepping stone is, we're going to make all those inserts that lead that we can then extrude as a face to work on, on, the, on the other parts. We don't really need to, but um, let's see. Let's turn this off. Select again the faces. And Command E. We're going to offset this um, thickness to about there, a little bit outside of there. And then Command E one more time, give it some more thickness. And give it one more shot at here. Now I know that you guys are probably asking why I haven't touched the shape that I want there and it's because of this. What we are going to do is we're going to take this face and the outside, so we're going to grow it, right? So we're doing both sides at the same time. We're going to press R. We're going to push it up. There yeah, we get that first um, part, right? So let's say about there. And then we're going to shrink. So it's um, shift, um, comma. And we're going to press Command E. And we're going to push it out a little bit. Okay, so now we have that, Command S, okay? Now from here, this face here, we're gonna, okay, we're gonna paint this and I'm gonna show you. So we can still use this to create this piece in here. So let's do that. Let's paint the face that we want. Right, shift, period, one more time. And we're gonna duplicate this face, object mode, Q, okay? So this is the other piece. So now what we're going to do is, we're going to keep it just the way it is. We're going to push it up, right? Because it has some depth depth, depth to it. Jesus Christ. I think the T is making me sleepy, guys. 
just a bit. We don't want it too much. So just a bit. And we're going to take this edge. Shift, shift, click, and drag it in. That's good enough for me. So you have your metal part and your wood part. Um, the other thing we can do here is... Oh, we have to shrink that. that so... Hold on a second, guys. See if I can get that going. Okay, we're going to have to shrink that a little bit because it does go in here. So that's fine with me. Let's see if we actually... Yep. So we're going to have to take this edge and bevel it. For what I'm seeing, this edge has to be beveled because it's a tight edge, right? I don't like why it keeps doing that to me every time I... So in this version of Maya, we're getting weird stuff happening. Like you see when I did that beveled edge, it did that. I don't like that. I don't know what they did with that update. But I am not liking it at all. Whatsoever. Let's see if it does it with this one too. No, it didn't do it with that one, so I think it's just something to do with. Okay, all I did was add that little extra lip here. That's what I was doing. The back doesn't matter. We're just focusing on what we can see. So we're going to bevel some edges, and then we're going to um, save again, clean up and save. So edge. So here, we're going to... Insert an edge loop since we were cleaning up that way. We're going to insert, insert an edge loop here, one here, one inside, one inside, and one in there. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now let's work the back tool. So we're just tightening up back here a little bit. Okay. We're not doing anything out of the ordinary, anything special. We're just cleaning up the edges with some edge loops. So if you see, this is not going to let me do that. The only way to resolve that, object mode, go to face, paint the faces here. That's weird. Face. That's very awkward. It's not letting me select the face. Okay, here we go. Okay, nothing else is selected. And we just press Command E to match that lip. So Q, Command E, offset it, object mode. Okay. Now if we press 3 here, everything should be clean. That's fine. Let's press 1. Here we're going to bevel some edges. Nice tight edges. Bevel edge, keep it nice and tight. Add a segment, tighten it up. Object mode, and we're good to go. Next thing we're gonna do, you know what? I made a mistake, guys. I made a mistake. Thank God I just beveled those edges and I didn't do anything else. What did I do wrong? You guys know? What I did wrong was, you see this has more work to do. 
I didn't do it. I got ahead of myself because I got excited. And this can happen, guys. Trust me, it can happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go. We're going to push that out. So we're going to press W. Right. And let's give it about that. Command E. W. And you're going to press R. We're going to match this in here. Right? Command E R one more time. Command E W. Okay? That's what we that's what I hadn't done. That's why you always gotta look at your references. Okay? This is very important. And I'm lucky I caught it early because it could have been worst if I would have found out later on that that I did a lot of work and it's not good. So we're going to insert some edge loops in here. Let's make it three to make sure that it has some supporting edge loops. Edge, Q, W. Now we are going to tighten up these. Let's make sure it gives us what we need. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm happy with that. Okay. Now we're okay. Now we make sense. Okay. So now let's uh, add these and then we'll get rid of, uh, we'll start cleaning up. Okay. So, as I always say, use the circle, bring it up to where you need it. So, we're only going to make one. Why am I going uh, only going to make one? Guys, plain and simple, because then, once I UV it, I can just duplicate the UV version and just spread it out. So, I'm going to make this, I'm going to add more to this. Let's make it 30-30. It needs more. It's too, you can see the... We don't want that. So we're going to press E, J, and rotate so it's this way. We're going to press R. Okay. So let's assume that these are like this and they're not bullets. They're just round. Assuming. We're going to bring it up to about there. Okay. Because it looks like it's a little bit oblong. From the top, command one, face, and then we're going to select up to that face there. Okay, and we're going to press delete. Now, what that did was, it just gave me, see? So, what we're going to do is, we're not just going to leave it like this, because this is dirty. You know, we don't want to do that. We want to make sure it's, it's dug in, not only that. We're going to pop it into, we're going to tighten it up a bit. And we're going to give you something like that, okay? Actually, you know what, since we're not going to do add no more to this, it's already engraved into the material, we're gonna, we are going to duplicate this and then UV them. Because we can just do them all at, all at once and then just separate them, so don't worry about it, guys. Okay? So what we're going to do is, we're going to take this, Right, one here, one here, one here, okay? And this one, we're gonna just shift click and drag it all the way to the bottom, right? Now, instead of guessing, cause sometimes you might push this across and it might not be the same way, or you do click, mesh, combine them. You take this, uh, you're gonna hit here where it says mirror and Sure enough, it's exactly the same way all the way around, all right? You click Mesh. So you can take all of these. Let's combine these. Mesh, Combine. So now we got that done. Let's clean up, okay? 
and I did the Levi type history, and I did the Levi type non reformer, modify freeze, modify center, okay? Command S or Control S to save your work. So, how would you guys approach this? Okay, there's two ways, and I'm going to show you the way I would do it. Okay, and then um, you guys can choose another way, but uh, again, as I always say, my way is not the only way. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to take another, another, uh, another sphere, right? I call it circle sometimes. I'm sorry, guys. It's just I rid myself of this weirdness. <laughs> so we're going to make it sure that it's there, right? And we're going to push it. Okay, and I know you're gonna wonder what's next. So I'm gonna show you guys another trick that I do when I'm when I'm trying to do something like this. Let's tighten it up a bit, okay? And let's bring it down a little bit to make sure it's equal on both sides. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a two-step process. We're gonna take the face, we're gonna cut this in half, we're gonna press the lead, okay? Right in a half. Here we are going to work this out and then um, pull what we need. Okay, so let's go to vertex. Let's go to edges first. Edge. So we're going to take this. Oops, sorry guys. Let's go to vertices better. Okay, we're going to press R. We're going to stretch that out. We're going to stretch this one out a little bit also. Now we can continue here. Here we're going to push out. And here we're gonna push out, okay? Now, once we get to this part, we don't need this face, so we're gonna go to here, face. We're gonna delete that face, right? So now, what we do is take edge, double click that, double click that edge, W, shift, click and drag. We're gonna press R, we're gonna push that out, okay? W, Shift click and drag up, okay. And we're not gonna feel that hole because it's gonna go right into the helm, so we're not gonna worry about that. However, you have to clean this up. So we're gonna. Oh, what is this? Just like a double edge here somewhere. Hold on, guys. Or is it just? Let me see what's going on here. Okay, that's fine. That doesn't matter. I just cleaned it up. So we're gonna have to smooth this out, like give it that little curve. So mesh tool, insert edge loop. We're gonna insert about six. Let's try five first. Five's good. Q. And so what we are gonna do, hold on, let me close this. We're gonna take these edges, Q edge, double click, and we're gonna start curving a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to curve, curve some more, curve some more, and I think with this last one we should be okay, yes, okay, so we curved enough, it's nice and curvy, we can see it here, now you're wondering, but this, this is only half, the cool part about Maya is, if you take this and you double click on this, you can change the axis and see where it's going, right? So Z is the direction we wanted to do it in, right? So we're gonna press mirror. And we're gonna see it, wait, let's see where it put it. So we're gonna take the axis position and see where it put it, right? Hold on. Okay. This is showing you where it is. It's it's in the wrong axis. It should be in the Y. So we're gonna go come back down to Y, and then we're gonna see it somewhere down here, right? Okay. Now, once you get close to this, you're gonna have to be very precise, okay? And this is as precise as we can be right there, okay? Object mode. And in that simple step, we created that piece. Okay, 
that's very beautiful and clean. Now we're going to clean up one more time by taking these edges. And we're going to bevel that edge. Okay, we need that to be nice and tight. So let's push it down and make it tight. Okay, object mode. And if you think there's an issue with this, just try mesh, mesh display soft and edge. And Bob is your uncle, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we wanted. So we're gonna take this vertex and we're gonna push it down. Okay. Into the into the helm. So we don't see it. Same thing we did at the top. Okay. Nobody's gonna see that. You could close it off there, but I want it this way. I prefer it this way. But what did I do wrong? Anybody notice? No? Okay. I wanted to see if anybody picked up on this. This is not round all the way to the top, guys. So we have to do some extra work. And that's what I wanted to say. Okay, so always be careful because it might look good, but it's not what you were trying to get. So let's go back. Okay. What we are going to do is we're going to take faces and we're going to make them flat. Okay. So we're going to take, we're going to be very uh, careful here. We're going to take all of these faces here. Okay, um, you know what? We're not going to take all of those. We should have, but we're going to leave. <clears throat> Let's see how we can approach this. We have four, four. So let's make it five, five. No, let me see. Okay, guys, this is going to be a bit of a conundrum for me. So let's take one, two, three, four. Okay. Be careful what we select, guys. Look at this. Always be careful what we select. And we're going to make that square flat. Okay, so now we know we need this one to make that flat. Okay, and we're going to bring this out, W. Okay, we're going to bring it out. Okay, I did a mistake. As you, as you can see, I, I didn't deselect this. Let's do this one more time. Let's press R. We're going to flatten that out. We're going to do the same thing in the, black, in the back. So, click, shift, double click, and we're going to press R again, right? We're going to flatten that out. Click, shift, double click. We're going to flatten that out. Click, shift, double click. And we're going to flatten that out. Okay? So the problem we're having is this section here, this, this part right here, we didn't make it wide enough. You can see it sucked in. So we have to push it out. Okay? So like about there. Let's see. Let's try the other the other side of the face and see what we get. Okay, this is what we're what we're doing is making sure now we have done everything right. So it, it wants to be about there according to the plan. Okay. So we're gonna take this edge, this edge. So we're gonna take click and drag, and we're gonna stretch that out. Okay. We need to stretch it out to make them equal. Now to finish the process before we um, duplicate it like we did earlier, we're going to take this and we're going to bevel that edge. And we're going to tighten it up. Okay? This is the correct piece. Okay, we make it tight. And so we're going to have, we might have, do we have to do anything else around here? No. Okay. This is fine, and I'm going to show you why. Once I press 3, and if it was smoothed out, it's going to give you this. What we do have to do is take this edge and bevel it. Why? Because it needs to be tight so that when we press smooth, object mode, and we press 3, now it looks like a correct piece. You see what I mean? However, 
Is this a perfect circle? Yes. Yep. Okay. So now let's go back to what we did. Remember, sometimes I might do things on purpose to ask you to see if you picked up what was right and what was wrong. We're going to add two edge loops here before we, um, we mirror. Make this two. We're going to pop them right in here. Object mode. Now that's nice and clean. Okay? Now we can carry on to what I was telling you guys before, uh, prior to, to, to coming back to this step. Okay? So now that that's nice and clean, we're going to mirror it. It should be... Oops. What? Okay, I didn't have nothing selected. Ah, something's wrong. Let's see what's going on. Okay, I had a tool selected. That's why it was giving me an error. So let's try this again. Let's mirror it and see what we get. And now it's right. So all the way down here, no, it's on Z. It's not even where it's supposed to be. So let's go to Y. And now we're going to drag it up. Press F to zoom in. Make sure you get it exactly where it needs to be. So that's good right there. <clears throat> and in this case, let's click Vertex. And let's push this into the, the wood. Because that's the way I want it. Okay, you can always do things your way. I want it this way. Now... <clears throat> We're gonna do the same thing we did with this with the circles in here. Okay. We're gonna mirror this one more time. And does uh, Y and we're gonna bring it up. Okay, because we want it right here. So we're gonna press F to make sure we get it where it needs to be. So we want it right there. Da -da -da -da. Okay. That's very fair to say, I guess. Let's see, let me make this bigger. So that's fine, because it's gonna dig into the into the material anyway. Okay? Now, what's the cool part about this? If I press E, modify center pivot, check this out. If I press E, Shift, click, and drag. It's going to clone it for us, guys. Shift, click, and drag one more time. It's going to clone it. And if we do it one more time, we have our whole set. How cool is that, guys? So in a matter of nothing, we have every, we have what we need so far. Okay? Um, these are going to be easy to UV, so that's why I'm not worrying about because all I do is split them and then just let them lay out. So I'm not worried about them being du uh, duplicate, okay? So we're going to do the outside also, and then we'll just finally work on the inside of the helm, okay? So let's do this. We're going to take, like I showed you guys last time when I did the, on the other tutorial, I did a door handle, I mean a handle for the, for the door of the vanity. And uh, and I use this method here. I don't think I made a tutorial, but now I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Okay. So as long as the top matches, I mean, you can even go as far as to right here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is, um, we're going to do the same thing we did earlier. Let's go to Vertex. R, push that out, R, push that out, we're going to keep going down the line, okay, pay attention to your edges, make sure they flow, flow nice and smooth, you don't want anything looking weird or, or staggered, okay, and then here, one more time, okay, and we're going to pop this baby out a little more. And we're seeing that right here. Let's see. That's pretty good. It's coming down. So now we switch to face. Delete. Vertex, because I see some kind of weird stuff going on here. Let's shrink it down. 
okay that's fine that's the, that's fine don't worry about it guys so, but I do see you see how it pops up here we need to t uh, tighten this one up a bit okay now we're gonna take this edge and here it is round so we, we, we can just do what we did the first time when I told you guys that it was a mistake one thing we're gonna do is once it reaches here command E W push it down R stretch it out bring it down command E W bring that down okay to about there now let's look in here to see what we're working with command E R we're gonna push that to about there let's see if we're right Ooh, close let's make it tighter and EW let's see if we get it right ha huh. so we don't even need the thir third times the charm thing what we are gonna do here is um, okay let's enter these edge loops here and then we'll work, work the rest out object mode right okay object mode mesh tool into edge loop we're gonna add about six or eight let's try six first yeah lucky number six vertex and we're gonna keep forming the shape of our of our uh, helm okay we're gonna keep going here one more time remember the flow of your edge is very important okay very very important you don't want staggering and right now we don't have staggering okay one more time here okay and this one here now i would bevel this one because you see it has that sharp edge so we all you gotta do is double click bevel edge and give it one more segment and just fraction it out um let me see if i should i keep it that way okay yeah so the reason that's happening we have to do one more bevel edge here so that is let it flow smoothly okay and that's good to go okay right in the middle here we're gonna bevel edge these two together <clears throat> we're gonna give it some segments okay and we're gonna pop it close nice and tight right there not too tight that's why i did it separately and this one can be a nice tight bevel edge okay <clears throat> and i gotta just fraction it and give it two segments and make it make it nice and tight okay and that's how we get that piece <clears throat> excuse me sorry about that guys <clears throat> so we're gonna do the same thing we did with the inside of this <clears throat> sorry guys i really apologize i'm so sorry so we're gonna press w we're gonna mirror we're gonna change this to y we're gonna bring it up to exactly where oops where we need it right around here okay let's get close enough to make sure it's exactly where we want it to be so when we go around it, it fits into the helm perfectly okay that's perfect modify we're gonna center the pivot we're gonna press E <clears throat> shift click and drag shift click and drag Okay. Shift, click, and drag, and we are done. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now we have everything. If we press Command One, we have everything done. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is. <clears throat> We're gonna do the, the the inside of the helm 
And then we're going to stop on this. And on the next one, we're going to UV and texture, okay? I don't want to overwhelm you guys with doing so much stuff. Um, that's not what I want to do. So, <clears throat> here we go. E, hold down J, click and rotate, press W. This has to be right in the middle, right? <clears throat> Again, my apologies, guys. For some reason, my throat just got weird on me. And I'm drinking tea for that, you know, to make sure that I am relaxed at night and working okay for you guys. But my throat wants to be a weirdo. We're going to take this bad boy. We're going to push it up. Okay. Here. Okay. That's very close to what we want. Okay. Let's look at it from the top. We're going to press R. We're going to go into x-ray mode on this for one minute because I want to make sure that this is inside. Because it looks like this is close to the inside of here and then it pushes out. Okay. So let's look at this. Okay, what I mean that it looks like it goes inside of here, okay? So this should be covered by that just a bit for what I'm seeing. That would make sense, okay? Face, click, shift, double click. So it seems like there's a little lip in here. So let's do that. Click, sh click, shift, double click, command E. Let's push it a little bit. Make sure we're not pulling anything else we don't need, okay? <clears throat> so now we're gonna press Command E. We're gonna slide it out to here and then we see that it gets wider, okay? That gets wider. So what we do is come here and we're gonna push it out, okay? And that width, for what I'm understanding, should cover a little bit farther than what we need so let's let's do that okay <clears throat> command e we're gonna offset this okay command e we're gonna pull this out to here and then we're gonna shrink it in because it goes back in okay And then finally, finally, the rest goes out into the helm, okay? So let's see if I'm trying to push this the right way. Let's see. Yes, and then Command E, and then we're going to just offset this. We're going to push it out. So now our helm is done. We have some cleaning up to do first. Face, right? Click on this, click click on face. We're gonna click this inside and we're gonna delete it. Okay, we don't need that. Now in the edge, let's zoom in so make sure we're grabbing the correct edge. One, and we're gonna bridge this. It should connect. Yes, so with the, when that happens, you get that twist. All you gotta do is take this twist here and just push it in the, in the opposite way until it straightens out. Okay? And that is straightened out, guys. So we're happy with that. Okay? And <clears throat> there's your wood. To do the metal piece, all you have to do is we're gonna insert an edge loop right here. You know what? Let's not do that. I'll show what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take the face, object mode. We're gonna click on face, click, double uh, click, shift, double click. We're gonna shift click, duplicate face, okay? Object mode, we're gonna take that face and we're gonna try to match it up evenly. So we're gonna take this edge, oops. Let me move this forward a bit. Command one, edge, double click, command and we're gonna sh we're gonna push this face out because it lies inside of the wood, right? Okay, and same thing here. We're gonna drag this piece in. 
okay because it lies inside of the wood so if you ever do that and you have to make sure that you look at the vertices select them all press R and flatten them just in case right here it didn't do anything that we didn't need it to do so that's fine command 1 W we're gonna push this out a little bit give it some space not too much we're gonna double click uh, take that edge is already selected shift double click W and we're gonna push this into the wood okay we're gonna push that into the wood and that's about it okay now <clears throat> the cool part is since this is the same size we're gonna do the same process here okay we're gonna mesh separate those mesh separate okay you're gonna grab one w modify center pivot shift click and drag it up okay and line it up make sure up here is where it's supposed to be see if i don't check that it would have been a catastrophe when you go to do something later on However, this is just fine for me, okay? Now that one, we're gonna shift click and drag and match it at the bottom, shift click and drag and match it at the bottom, okay? Let's make sure it's right where it's supposed to be. So we're gonna click, shift click, mesh, combine. You'll press E and shift click and drag again. Okay, shift click and drag. Oh, that went crazy on me. Let's make sure that I did what it was supposed to do. Shift click and drag. Let's do it here next. Okay, so we have one here. Oops, one here. Shift click and drag. Okay, may use the outside the yellow one. Don't use the this one because it can spiral out of control, like you just saw. And shift click and drag one more time and Bob is your uncle okay so now ladies and gentlemen we have completed the, the first part of this, of this tutorial okay everything is beveled edged here everything is beveled edged here this is clean um, let's do this real quick bevel these edges and um, bevel these edges and then we'll finish officially so for this one it's quite simple shift double click zoom in I'm gonna bevel that edge give it two i'm gonna tighten it up a bit to make sure that we can tell that it is an edge okay now here we're gonna press <clears throat> we got to do all of these edges together double click shift double click shift double click the reason we're doing them all together guys because if we look at the picture when I'm done with this there's no great discrepancy in edge edges here you see they're all tight so we don't have to go crazy trying to say one is thinner like we did here one had a little bit of a rounding one didn't so we're gonna bevel edge let's see what's going on here Make it, oh, you see it's being weird. I don't understand why this is doing this. So we're gonna do this by edge loops, guys, because again, Maya has done some weird stuff with these updates and I don't like it. So let's do the, the exterior and interior one first. Reset the tool, okay? And then so now we're gonna have to do these manually guys that's the only way so we're gonna take as close as we can to the edge without overdoing it so something like this try to get them as equal as possible okay normally I would want I would want to have used the edge the bevel edges but again guys uh, Maya has done some stuff with the updates and it's being very strange and I, again I don't like it it makes me work around other things I still wouldn't trade it for <laughs> 3ds max I'd rather ha have these tiny flaws but I know that I, I know how to get around them okay we're almost done with this 
Okay, we'll try to get as close as we can. Last one. And now if we press Q, click on this and press 3. That is our helm. Okay. Command 1. So we're going to unhide the cube. Okay. And we're going to push this cube behind this because this is the front. So we're going to push it back. And we're going to add one additional piece. Okay. Because it wouldn't make sense if that's just stuck against stuck up against a piece of wood, okay? So we're gonna leave that there, right around there. We're gonna leave just that space, or should we leave a little more? Let's leave a little more. And all we're gonna do is, okay, we're gonna take one of these. I'm gonna bring it up. E J, hold down J while you click and drag. Okay, we want to center this up right in the middle. So we're going to try to make sure that it's perfect. Down. We know it's the middle here, so let's try here and see what's going on. Okay, that's fine. And all we're going to do is we're going to push it to the back here. Okay, not don't sink it into it. Take this vertex. We're going to push it back into here. Okay. Because with this, what we're going to do is, if we look here, if we're shading x-ray, so we can see what we're talking about. So I don't want it indented into here. Actually, if you see, it's going to have to be smaller. So let's press R in there. Okay. So now we can press W here. We, got, we want it right up against it, but not into it. And the same thing here, guys. Okay, the reason I did that was because once I, I keep it there, if I bevel these edges and I add some segments and I tighten this up, this is what we would get. Okay. So yeah, guys, so now that we have everything set up, in the next video, which should be uploaded between um, maybe tomorrow or after, maybe later on today, if I can't sleep, I'll, I'll share it. So we're going to mesh, separate everything for now. Okay. Everything should um, mesh separate, G, G. Okay, everything separate there. Every, G, 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 G. That's separate. That's separated. Let's make sure everything's separated. Okay. So everything's separated. We're going to ungroup all of this. Edit, ungroup. This is going to take a few seconds before we end this. So what I'm doing is pressing G to finish some grouping everything, okay? And click G, click G, click G, click G, click G. I'm doing that to everything. You're going to see a whole bunch of stuff, okay? Don't worry about that. That's going to go away once we go like this. Select everything, edit, delete, or by type history. Edit, delete, or by type non former Modify, freeze. When I fly center pivot. Why did I do that? Because it was a bunch of groups and we didn't need that, okay? Too many groups. We don't want that. That's not clean. So now we select all of these and we do mesh combine, okay? These. Mesh combine. These. mesh combine okay so everything that looks alike should be combined once we're gonna uv we're gonna do that all together okay so this and this is a big metal piece we should mesh combine those because they're both empty so yeah mesh combine 
And the only thing we're gonna leave separate is that piece of wood and this piece of wood. Everything else should have its its uh its mesh combination, okay? So all that stuff, watch how simple it becomes. Edit, delete our type history, edit, delete our type non-deformer, modify freeze, modify center, and here we are guys. We're down to little pieces, okay? So now again command s and then on the next video i'll show you guys how to uv everything as groups um as co i'm sorry as combined meshes it's gonna be real uh, real easy and then we'll texture it and i'll give it this rugged look and everything else that we need okay so thank you guys for tuning in to one of my tutorials i am the rum soak pirate one more thing before we leave i just noticed this let's give it a mesh display smooth Soft and edge, I'm sorry. And now we don't see those rough edges. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at that. And let's, you see, focus on that now and watch when I do the, the soft and edge. That is gone. This is what we want, nice soft geometry. Okay, now press Command S. Thank you guys again and you have a great night or a great day depending where you are watching this video from. Take care of yourselves, guys.